I've binge watched so many things since we've been uh, in quarantine. My favorite being Money Heist. I don't know if you guys have watched. We need to watch it. It's on the list for sure. You know, you guys gotta watch it. It's awesome. Okay. It's How awesome. Many seasons is it? And then and Hunters. Okay. I, Hunters with Al Pacino is pretty good too. No, no, I, no, no that no. was uh, Logan Lerman's in that too, and uh, the guy who played Ted from How I Met Your Mother is in it as well. So that looks really, really good. Okay. We've been meaning to watch. Yeah. That as Hunters well. and Money Heist. Money Heist first though. Money Heist is amazing. Yeah. Are there any details you can give us on uh, the movie that you're going to be producing? Uh, no, not, okay. not, yet. We'll not yet. I can tell you this. I can tell you this. It's a comedy. Ooh, okay. Uh, it's a buddy comedy. And so uh, that's, that's about all I can say. I don't want to put it out there yet and, and, you know, have people see the idea and maybe run with it before I can get to it. Uh, Fair enough. Fair enough man. But, but I tell you what, I tell you what, when I when I get it locked in and I get you know we start filming, we'll do this again and I'll have, and I'll we'll we'll do it from set. That would be awesome. Man. Okay, we well, really sure. appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, but last couple of questions, man. You know, you're in two seasons of Imposters on Bravo, um, and it just ended a couple of years ago. Has there been any talks to do something with Netflix, like a movie or a TV, like an well, option? you know. We we tried right as uh, Bravo let it go. We tried to get it picked up at Netflix because Netflix had season one and it was doing extremely well for Netflix. And they they passed on it. Um, they picked up uh, Lucifer. Yes. Yeah. You know, at the same time they were going, you know, it was us, Lucifer, and maybe some other things. They picked up Lucifer and they they took in Bar Levy the girl who played the lead on Imposters yeah, yeah, yeah. and made her a, a, a series regular on Lucifer. <laughs> oh, dang, man. So they passed on our show, took our star. Took our person, and yeah. everybody. Just, <laughs> wow. Netflix doesn't play, man. Yeah, they don't they care. don't care. <laughs> you know, but, I, you know, I'm friends with Scott Stuber, who runs the uh, feature department over there at Netflix. And, you know, they're... Listen, I understand it. It is what it is. You know, Lucifer was coming off of Fox, which had, you know, yeah. 11 million viewers. It was a bigger show. No hard feelings. I'm hoping that we can do a reunion film of of imposters. You know, true. like a feature film where yeah. we can put it, you can put it on Netflix as a two hour film and you know let it let it finish because we weren't done. I had just no. arrested Maddie when the season ended. I had just yeah. arrested her. Well, they you know? said like the the creators have said like that was not the ending that they wanted. Like this is not a a finished no. endings so like they obviously there was so much show. more so the yeah, movie would be perfect do Just, you think the two hour like a two hour movie would wrap ev everything that you guys would want to wrap up i think it could i okay. think it could i mean we obviously they would have to be creative because they probably had you know four or five seasons already planned out for the storyline but i think instead of just leaving it where it is we could finish it you know and if we if we got two hours i'm sure that they could uh figure out a way to write a really proper ending and and wrap up everybody's storylines 